think you don't know who she is. Grace from the Hoop Incident. First off, I apologize for this obnoxious beam of light here. It's the best I have at the moment. Alicia Harkness of Freestyle Spirals was recently asking me a lot of great questions regarding fan spinning, and instead of trying to break everything down over a Facebook message, I decided it might be better just to do a video. That way you can visually see what's going on with the different styles. Don't take this as any kind of professional advice on fan spinning. I'm not an expert. I've only been doing it since October. There aren't a lot of informative videos or anything out there regarding the different styles, so I think it's really important that we get this out there. So let's get started. So fan types. Decorative fans. Not made for spinning. Type 2. Fan veils. Type 3. Fire fans. 4. Kittens. Also not made for spinning. Decorative fans and fan veils. You can already see a lot of similarities in the way they're built. Bamboo slats with fabric attached. The difference is the fabric's usually a silk, and it comes in anywhere between four inches off the end to a couple meters long. Fan veils can be used on their own or in pairs. As far as tricks go, you can't really do a whole lot with fan veils. Um, it's all static grip, so you don't change your hand at all. Hold on to them, snap them open, and that's where your hand's going to be for basically the entirety of their use. Uh, as far as motions go, uh, they're kind of fun to play with. If you do faster motions, you get smaller ripples in the silk. Slower motions give you larger ripples. I sometimes like to use two fan veils at a time and spin them like koi. Just doing weaves, the basic two beat weave, three beat, and you can throw in a toss every once in a while. Uh, these are great to use if you can't use fire in a particular venue if you're performing. I really like to pull them out for kids to play with. Um, they are fragile, so you got to be careful, but they're relatively cheap. You can get a pair for $35, $40 on eBay. That's basically it when it comes to fan veils. Fire fans. I prefer the Russian style grips. Their ring down here is three inches or larger, which allows you to fit all of your fingers inside the ring. And why do I like this? Because I can use them just like my mini hoops. Another style grip to consider is what I like to call the pistol grips. The ring is going to be much smaller, one and a half to two and a half inches. You can only fit two to three fingers inside the ring. The first pair of fans I ever bought were from Homopoi. They had a two inch ring, I believe, and the wicks were two inches high. I didn't like them. They were way too large for my taste and the ring was way too small. I only feel comfortable if I have a good solid firm grip and I did not feel comfortable at all when I only had two fingers in a ring. Another problem I ran into with the Homopoi fans were when I went to tosses, and yes, they warn you not to do tosses. When I went to do tosses, the welds broke within the first week, and for a lot of people that's going to be an issue. Luckily, I had access to a welder and just redid all the welds myself. But when you're dropping, you know, $40, $60, $90 on a pair of fans, you don't really want that to happen. Otherwise, Homopoi is a great resource for beginners. It's going to be cheap, and if you decide you don't love your fans, you didn't spend $100 on a pair of them. These fans are from Deftworks. You can find them on Etsy. Uh, I like that they have a much smaller wick on the top. I don't feel overwhelmed and engulfed by flames every single time I spin them. They are much lighter than the pair I had from Homopoi. And of course, I love the Russian style grips. As far as tutorials are concerned, just go ahead and type in fire fans online. Homopoi is going to have a few good tutorials for beginners. Also check out Homa Fans if you're going to go with the Russian style grips. You can also check out all the people from Forge Creations. They put out cute and fun little videos every once in a while, especially Doodle. You can find him as Team Struggle on Instagram. And Doodle's really good if you want to go into the tech-heavy kind of spinning. He does a lot of off-the-wall things like balances and chest rolls, 
Uh, a lot of things you don't really want to do when your fan's on fire. If you're going to consider buying fire fans, I really urge you to either find a friend or go to a local flow jam and find someone there who will let you just play with their fans. Um, you don't have to have them on fire. Most people have covers. I am neglectful of that right now. You don't want to spend a hundred some dollars on a pair of fans that you decide you hate. So either find someone who will let you play with theirs and you can figure out what kind of grips you really like or buy a cheap pair and expect to lose that money. Because in the end you're either going to hate them or you're going to end up buying a nicer pair. Alicia, I know I probably didn't answer all your questions, but I hope this at least helps you get a start in your journey on fan spinning. Let me know if you have any other questions. Either comment below or message me at thehoopincident at gmail.com. Happy spinning!